Hey everybody, welcome to our live. I am Heather and we come to you live each and every day. Uh, we bring you Luminous, um, anything and everything Luminous. And so we do like to go over the beginnings, the start. We know that people are at different levels of airbrushing. So we always like to cover everything. So we do cover the starter kit and what you receive in that. So let's look at that real quick. Let's look. Oh, I did download the new starter kit. This is the Breeze. Um, this is the Breeze starter kit, which um, is our new cordless chargeable one. Amazing. Everybody loves it. Um, but we still have the Icon, the Icon Pro, the Legend, all of those um, as well. But this is the Breeze. And we do, it do, it do, it does come with two bottles of foundation, love and blush. And the two bottles are nice because they're a range. It, we're giving you a range of colors. And so you can color match 365 days a year. So as long as you're getting in that range, the colors are going to work for you. And then also because the colors, um, the makeup is very forgiving. And so it gives you a, quite a bit of wiggle room, if you would. Um, but the the love and the blush, the love is something that's going to bring a little bit of luminosity to the skin, um, have that young, youthful glow. And then blush is something that you may um, go overboard with a little bit. So you only want to use two drops of the blush. If you go, if you do more, it, you're gonna look crazy. But uh, just two drops and that's it. And oh, I just bit my tongue. And right here, this is what, right here, right here, we want you, when you hold this breeze, we want you to bam, 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 always move. It's not fast. It's not a race, but you're never in, you're not going to do this because you're never in one spot twice, but there's overlap. So there will be overlap, but you're just not, you're, so you're constantly moving. You also want to keep it four finger widths away. And then you're going to practice barely pulling down on this trigger. The only time I pull down all the way is if I'm cleaning it or blowing it out. Um, other than that, you stay, you stay pretty light on it. Okay. I can, I can Lori. Um, I see you. I'll see you. All right. So now let's go ahead and get started. Which one did I charge? I think I charged this one. All right, so I, I labeled this, um, what age do you stop wearing shimmer? And the answer is never. It doesn't matter your age. You can always wear shimmer. However, we might want to pick and choose. Facebook isn't working. Hmm. I wonder if I can add, let me see if I can add Facebook back in. Yeah, I was noticing that because it did, well, okay, I think I just added it. Um, I noticed it because it didn't give me that, um, like, heads up, you're on. Um, so I did just add it back in. So hopefully it's working now. But thank you for letting me know. Um, all right, so we are going to talk. Yeah, I just got the, I just got it. I just got the notification. So hopefully everybody will start jumping on. Um, but with shimmer, it doesn't matter the age. It just matters um, where you put it. Um, remember, and I'm going to say this a couple of times because I know we just got live on Facebook. Um, shimmer acts like airport runway lights to wrinkles and crinkles. And so that's not something we want. We want to hide wrinkles and crinkles. And so that's why we want to watch where we put um, the shimmer. So it doesn't matter the age. You can always wear shimmer. We just want to watch where we place it. Okay. So I'm going to start with glow. I do have a little bit of tan going on right now i was oh blow this out yeah i was um 
I didn't put on my tanning tonic. And so my body, cause I, we went to the pool before it closed for the summer or for the fall. I'm in Texas, so we really don't have fall, but whatever it is back into the, yeah, it's fall. Yeah. Uh, back into whatever season we have. Um, and, uh, so my, my chest decollete is a little darker. And so I didn't, of course, um, put, I put sunscreen on my face. And so my face was super lighter than the rest of the, my body. So I had to put my tanning tonic on. All right. So now I'm going to go in, put a drop of glow. I did about three drops, probably too much. Um, I won't need that much, but wanted to put that in and then putting it in my foundation. Well, holding my uh, breeze finger on the trigger, I'm going to use that underneath my eyes. But when we do like a concealer in the traditional way, you know, we make that half moon shape and then we blend it out. Remember this blends for you. So you're not going to see that half moon shape. So I'm going to go back and forth, back and forth. If you're on, let me know you're on. Let me know where you're from. I'm also going in and I'm going to do, I'm going to lighten it right here. And the reason I'm doing that is to um, give the illusion that I don't have these little folds. Because also light, the lighter part, when we highlight, that's going to whoop, open it up, okay? Contouring is where we, we're hiding it, okay? So I can go back and do a little bit more underneath my eyes. But also know that there is no demarcation line. You just start seeing a little bit of light, a little bit of lightness, but there's no demarcation line. Now, this glow also does not have any shimmer. I don't want shimmer underneath my eyes. So anything underneath my eyes, it's going to be matte. Go a little bit on my T-zone area, and then I'll blow the rest of that out. I see Lori, but I don't, is any, I know other people are on because I can tell them, but nobody's saying anything. Talk to me, people. Talk to me. All right. So now that I have my highlighter on, let's go in and do some blush. And I'll use the soft rose blush. Now, I haven't used the soft rose blush in a while. And so I'm going to make sure to shake it up. You, even if it's something you use every single day, you are wanting to shake up the blush. Shake it up. Shake it up. Lori, um, can you see comments or just that other people? Yeah, I see other people are on, but I don't see that they're commenting. All right. So now I have my blush in here. And now, hello, Pamela. Thank you for saying something from Mobile, Alabama. Now I'm going to go in. And because I'm also concentrating on certain areas, like more precise, I am going to come in a little bit closer. So about three fingers to do my um, blush. Light, light, light. Now I'm going to move to this side. Now I can go back. And with those two drops, I just go back and forth, back and forth. And because I know two drops are enough for me, plus the fact I'm using them first. And then I'm going to do my foundation. So it's okay if it gets a little bit bright. Um, because I know that I'm going to put the foundation on over it. Hello, Andrea. All right. So there is my blush. Now we will see that the blush is going to bloom on me. So again, if you're using our blush or if you haven't, especially if you haven't used it yet, go lightly, tread lightly, only one drop. In the beginning, I always have people do blush first before foundation, because that way chances are in the beginning, you're going to be spraying too heavy. And so um, that way, if you get blush happy, 
um, when we're doing the foundation over that, it's going to blend for you. Okay. All right. So now I'm going in, which one do I want to use? Let's do the pearl. I'm going to go in and do some shimmer. Now our shimmers, these are luminizers and I haven't used these in a very long time. I can't even hear the BB yet. So I want to make sure I can hear the BB, shake it up, shake it up, shake it up. I have to shake it up hard to get the, um, to get this pigment mixed. Now, anything with a shimmer that's airbrush form is a heavier pigment. Okay. So definitely make sure that you do clean your stylus immediately afterwards. All right. So I'm going to continue to shake this up. However, I'm going to do my foundation first and I'm going to use, why do I, I always put them in a place that I need them, but then, cause I'm like, Oh, I'll see it there. And then I never do. <laughs> All right. So I just did my blush. Now I'm going to go in and do my foundation and I'm using shade three silk. And I'm putting about five drops. I'm going to put this up so I can see it. Turn on my system. And starting in one spot, I'm going to make my pass. Now I go in and I make one complete pass. Okay, that's one complete pass. And then I can go in and look for any areas that I need more coverage. So most of my coverage is going to be right around here. And I have to tell you, this weekend, I um, tried a different foundation. I tried a traditional foundation. And I put it on. I was like, okay, I like it. It's good. It's not... It was good coverage. It wasn't um, like real thick or anything. It wasn't, um, it, I mean, I liked it. It was traditional, but I liked it until I got up close. I got my up close mirror. And even though, cause when, when I did this um, foundation, I used, it was a um, liquid foundation, but I used a brush like that and I buffed it on because I didn't want a lot of pull on my face. And so I was just like, Ooh, doo -doo -doo -doo. and like looking like this, it looks fine until I got my mirror. And I was like, Oh, it did. It accentuated my pores, um, settled into the creases. I was like, Oh, so I had to end up going back and kind of buffing that out even more because it did settle. And that's, you know, airbrush makeup is not going to do that. You're not going to have those issues because it sits on top of the skin and it doesn't settle. All right. So now let's talk about shimmer. Shimmer again is going to act like airport runway light. So it is, it's what we want to bring attention to. Now you can wear shimmer at any point in your life. It doesn't matter your age. It doesn't matter if you have wrinkles and crinkles. We just need to watch where we put the shimmer, right? So you can use a powder. I'm going to use our luminizers because we haven't used them in a while and I love them. But some options on where to put them would be like high cheekbone area. This, or I'm sorry, brow bone, then cheekbone. You can even do it down the nose or I like doing it right with my Cupid's bow um, to make the lips look Fuller. But again, it's going to boop, 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 boop. So if you're worried about it highlighting wrinkles and crinkles, but you want shimmer, just go where you have less wrinkles and crinkles. So you also do not want to put it everywhere. So I don't want to pick here and here and here and here and like all these different areas. You can pick and choose what you want so if i wanted to go here with the shimmer and maybe down my nose and here maybe go matte on the eyes so you don't have to um um worry about it drawing too much attention so does that mean airbrush doesn't go into your pores if it sits on your skin yeah it just sits on the skin it's not going to settle into wrinkles and crinkles and and 
cause your pores to look larger. If it does at first, that just means you're spraying too heavy. And again, guys, I don't know how many times y'all have heard me say this, but when we're airbrushing, it's retraining our brains into thinking luminous airbrush versus traditional makeup. Because with traditional makeup, we're used to piling it on. Cover, 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 cover. And with airbrush makeup, you're not doing that. Okay? You're making those light, light passes um, to get the coverage, but not pressing it in and, and accentuating those, those wrinkles and crinkles, of course. Make sense? And then if you do have large pores, I highly, highly recommend the velvet veil. Everybody should have this. This is amazing. The velvet veil is something you're going to put on after moisturizing, but before airbrushing. And you will always have to airbrush. It doesn't allow a lot of movement. All right. So I have my pearl. And the I'm going to have to pour a little bit. Okay. Because I haven't used it and it is, I need to do that trick to the tip of it. So it comes unclogged. Got my, my uh, I'm using the pearl luminizer and I'll spray this. I love it. I'm, a, I'm spraying it really heavy on my hand so you can see it. Look how beautiful that is. Isn't that gorgeous? Uh, actually, hold on because I do have. I think I have all of our luminizers on an arm. Yeah, here we go. Okay, these are our luminizers. Um, we have amber, rose gold, pearl gold, and diamond. And even the diamond, I really like. Um, I thought the diamond was going to be too glittery, and it's not. It's not glittery at all, but it's they're gorgeous. You can mix them in with blush. You can mix them in... Um, you can use them as I, you, there's a lot of different ways to use them. Um, and so you will love them. All right. So I'm going to do high cheekbone area. And I did come in, I'm coming in a little bit closer. Can you, and just like the blush, I'm going over here. I don't want to hit this area too much um, where it's, it's going to feel wet. I'm going to give it a break and then I'm going to come over here. But what I love about the luminizers are they, they are very subtle. You just still have to spray light. Can you see that? Woo, look how pretty that is. Give me a little shine shine. And that was, I could probably use a little bit more. Let's use a little bit more. I'll do a little bit more of that. All right. They do, Andrew, that's a good question. They do not bloom. So what you, what you get out is what you're going to do or what, what will be. Um, but can you see how it's just, ooh, just that little iridescent, um, and what I like about him is like, especially with this, you can control um, the shine. So it's not like, oh, you get shiny and then your face is all shiny. This is where you can control the shine. Does that make sense? But it's just going to give you a little bit of luminosity. The pearl is probably one of the lighter ones, one of the um, um, more subtle. Whoops, sorry, I'm out of focus there. Uh, one of the m more subtle ones, I am going to clean my breeze out real quick, or at least put some tip top cleaner in there. Um, so if you want to start off light and then kind of take a step up, you can start, start with the pearl and then, um, you know, get another one, get another one, get another one. But the rose gold is gorgeous. The amber is gorgeous. The amber is great. I use the amber in fall and winter because it, it has a richness to it. Uh, you could also use our optics um, for any of the shimmer that I just used. So high cheekbone down here, depending on what you like. Um, let's go in. I'll go in. Of course, I'm using the nude and naughty. 
and I'll get a little blending brush and I'm going to go with a purple and because I have some drama with the eyelash extensions I'm going to just do a little because it's already causing me to look like a makeup on with the extensions <clears throat> so I don't need a lot see how that already and then just to change it up a bit I am going to go in with the optics in the gold color uh, let's do let's do beaming and we have an eyeshadow that would work as well but just to show you that you can just because something says eyeshadow doesn't mean you have to use it for eyeshadow or just because something says highlighter doesn't mean you know you can use it for whatever you want I'm gonna put just a little bit right here on my lid just to light look at that I did the gorgeous Lightly, lightly. And then I'm going to blend it out with my finger. And then I can go back with this. And just kind of blend that in a little bit more. So it just gives that nice highlight. And then if you wanted, if I wanted to kind of dial this down, I could put eyeliner right there. Um, I mean, like right at that lash line. So the gold wouldn't be as bright. But I like the bright because it's, like, boom, it's giving me some, some oomph. All right, so now I'm going to go in. Dusty Rose, you know I love. And then I'm taking Naughty Pink. And just kind of skipping over. I'm going to press that in so it rubs it together. And so I have a little bit of a brighter pink lip, but not this super bright. Let's just define. The lips a little bit more. And there we go. There we go. Well, all right, guys, thank you so much for joining me. I hope everybody has a wonderful day today on this month. Yay. And, um, and we'll see you guys tomorrow for sure. I hope everybody has a great day and thanks for joining me and we'll see you soon. Bye for now.